She's on a fast track to becoming a force in Formula One, the most popular racing series in the world. She first got behind the wheel of a go-kart at an age when most kids are just learning how to ride a bike. And now, as Daniela Cotto shows us, this 13-year-old from Elkhorn is well on her way to someday becoming a star in open wheel racing. My dad brought me to a racetrack in Sugar River in Broadhead, Wisconsin, and after days of begging him to give me a car, he finally gave in. At a very young age, Ava Hansen learned her dad, Tim, was into motorcycle racing, and at the age of four, she asked to try go-kart racing. Yeah, I raced a little bit, uh, kind of local stuff, nothing to Ashley, like what she does. So yeah, there was the competition, uh, competitiveness and need to want to have her race. By age six, she was already traveling out of state, spending Thursdays and Fridays practicing to then be able to compete on the weekends. And I just fell in love with it. I fell in love with the speed, competition, and adrenaline. Many of the top race car drivers in the world started in this F1600 series often called Formula Four. I'm in like that zone where I'm like a step below the Formula Four car. It's a non-winged, purpose-built, single-seat race car that was introduced in the U.S. in 1969 and is still considered a training ground for those who, like Ava, want to make this a lifelong career. I've missed around 200 hours of school in like sixth grade, 200 in seventh grade, but my teachers and principals are really lean. When the 13-year-old is not racing, she's catching up on schoolwork and training. It involves a lot of working out, simulator practice, like on an AI track. A lot of pressure on me, I feel like, to try and like prove my name and that females can be a big part of this sport too. Ava believes she currently holds the title of youngest female motorsport driver in Wisconsin. I feel like people always look down on me because I'm a female and they think that I'm not as high on their level like them. And the people that don't look down on me and actually work with me, I'm really thankful for those people. Drivers in this series range from ages 13 to 70, but because it can get so costly, race car drivers often look to sponsors for help. To run the series that we're doing with the entry fees, renting the car, travel, you're probably about $150,000 to run eight or nine races. Out on the city streets, she's not old enough to have a valid driver's license, but with a racing license in here, she's able to travel about 130 miles per hour. But on the grid, it's like a bunch of butterflies. Then as soon as you get on the track, it's just everything unimportant goes to the back of your mind and everything more important comes to the front. We asked dad about safety. He says it's just like any other sport where accidents can cause mild fractures to more severe and sometimes life-threatening injuries. The car has a custom-built seat that holds you in. It has custom harnesses. And then you have your, all your protection gear. Your helmet has to be certified. You have a neck brace, uh, your fire suit, shoes, gloves, head sock. In my go-karts, I flipped like three times. Luckily, as of now, Ava has not experienced a serious injury. Ava and her dad recently came up with a driving awareness campaign to highlight three local nonprofits she holds near and dear. Just Giants Rescue is a nonprofit organization that rescues and rehabilitates giant breed dogs. Uh, Go Baby Go Children's Hospital Wisconsin is a big, it's a hospital that helps kids that aren't very independent and don't really have much mobility and makes custom motorized cars to help, help them have mobility and independence. And Children's Alopecia Project is, they take kids with hair loss from any form of alopecia and they change their goal from growing hair to growing confidence. In total, so far she's raised about $1,000 to help. And whether it's racing or giving back, she's not stopping anytime soon. Until what age would you like to be doing this? 75 <laughs> tops, I feel like. Until then, maybe if I retire earlier, I want to like open my own business like for racing or start coaching other people that are younger that don't really have the experience yet. 